Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name's Aaron, and today we are bringing you. I don't know why I say we all the time. I'm bringing you the world record for Shadows of Evil. Now, this is two zombie record specs. That means there is absolutely no quote unquote cheating going on in this game whatsoever. So, we are not using two guns. We have not pack a punch the gun at all. Like, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the gumball does not work anymore to pack a punch the gun. We are not using the, what's it called? Uh, the Easter egg max ammo type thing where the wraps come and give you a max ammo anytime you need it. We are not using, honestly, that's, I mean, I think that's it. Oh, there's more than three spawn zones and we are not in a place where zombies cannot get us so let's get into it as you can see the strategy we are running is inside of this room now this is not where we always are it's only whenever he has ammo for the gun and hopefully whenever he gets alchemical warfare so we can actually spend two minutes well i think i would say about three minutes or four up there killing zombies now every single time that we have an alchemical warfare Every minute, for the two minutes, because you guys know how Chemical Warfare comes with two, each minute he is killing, on average, 250 zombies in one minute. That is insane, and that is after max spawn rate. I think before 64, he was killing around 200, like maybe 180 to 200. But after that, and we didn't really get it in the 90s that much, but... For the most part, he was killing 200 to 250. At one time, he killed 270 zombies in one minute. That is insane. If you guys know nothing about zombies or is, like this is your first video ever, just know that 270 zombies in one minute is unthinkable. That spot, what we are doing is the fastest strategy, but it comes with a side effect, and that is that the rest of the round is spent down here using blast furnace on both sides so as you can see it is going to get super slow down here and it makes these rounds last about 30 minutes i think 96 lasted 26 minutes and 97 we died on 97 i do not have the death in this video if you guys request it down in the comment section i will put it up it was pretty dumb and um it's just a little bit my fault but i think he just he, rookie mistake and you know on from there but it's okay so 97 though that is crazy so the big question is and the topic of this video i know I waited forever to say it gloating so much how to get good at zombies and the easiest way to tell you guys is play every single day what you need to do instead of launching up multiplayer it's like yeah i'll play a quick domination then i'll hop into zombies no start up a solo on shadows of evil on Doris. Go back to Black Ops 2. Go back to Black Ops 1. And Black Ops 1 is coming to next generation, or at least the Xbox One, sometime this month. And literally play solos. Now, I know if you're bad, you know, everyone knows if they're bad or not, you will start going down a lot and it's going to frustrate you. But the more you play, and if you have a friend that's good at zombies and you can play like a solo and a solo at the same time, like play together, it would be much more fun. So, just play solos and not play together as in him play a solo or her and you play a solo and try to race each other. That's how I learned is through zombie round races and it just got me better at the game and also playing with better people, learning. So a big news and I want to save this to the end of the video. Here sometime soon, I'm not going to tell what date it is because I don't know when I'm going to be home or not. I will have an open zombies lobby only for Xbox One. And very soon, I'm going to have an open Black Ops 1 lobby for zombies. It's on the Xbox 360, but I'm playing through the Xbox One because of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys want to learn some zombies. Maybe I can teach you guys the ropes. My name's Aaron, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.